Shalom, Rastafari. This is a follow up to this particular vid and to the revelation, um, to the word, right? The sword. The word is the sword. So we need to know where's the sword, you know, for our um, spirit, soul, and even the physical sword, the word of Jah, the word of God. And um, here, this is the vid on EY, the Illuminati prophecy and U.S. Great Seal revealed. And we pointed to Zechariah 5 and 6, um, where the translation is, um, the King James is, this is their resemblance in all the earth. And it points to what is variously called the eye of providence and the Illuminati eye and um, erroneously from the spiritual Egyptology or the the um spiritual Egypt of um Albert Pikey and and the free so called Mason so forth and so on, they call it the Eye of Horus. It's not the Eye of Horus, but they call it the Eye of Horus, just like the blonde hair, blue eye, so called Jesus, or even sometimes they would say Yeshua is not Yeshua. You see what I'm saying? So they um take the names of the good and they ascribe it to the non-good. First, they steal the word, right? Then they change up the meaning. And we've seen this a lot. Um, so this is one reason why we have to study to show ourselves approved. But there's another scripture too I wanted to just connect with this and it was brought to my attention. And it's also in Zechariah or Zechariah. And it also is concerning this particular um, revelation right here. And is Zechariah 11, Tinbite Zacharias, Mi'raf Asara'an, Kut Arasara Sabat, Zechariah chapter 11, verse 17. And it reads in Zechariah um, 11 and 17, Amen Gawin, Le Mia Tawu, Le Min, Le Minam Nete Renya, Woyolet, Woyolet, Safe. Be kenduna be keng ainulai yohonal kendum atibka tedarkalech keng ainum fetsmo techelmalech. Now that's from the Metzhaf Kedus, the Book of the Seven Seals, the Turgum, or the translation of that verse seventeen is woe to the idle shepherd, or really the worthless. Uh, the worthless, the shepherd of Belial, 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 right? Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm and upon his, his key right here, the right eye. So others have observed this, that you see a lot of them covering a lot of the, um, the, the puppets, so to speak. Um, um, those who have been taken, uh, captive by the devil, Satan, many of them at his will, according to the scriptures, they will cover their, their, their right eye, sometimes the left eye. Now, in the ancient, uh, Mishtir, the mysteries, um, and this is also true biblically speaking, if you, if you can receive it, because Moses was learning all the, all the wisdom of the Egypts, but he was mighty in word and deed because he knew the true or the rightful interpretation. He had uh, a true understanding. So he was able to get that inner and the overstanding. There was a foundation, right? There's a foundation, that groundation. So the right eye would symbolize um, the spiritual, right? And the left eye will symbolize the material, Right, like the material world and the and the right eye would symbolize the sun and the left eye the moon. So that's also kind of very important and moon, lunar, and then we have a lunacy. So they will cover the right eye, the the eye, the eye of the sun, symbolically speaking, the spiritual eye or the God eye, so to speak, because we know that the moon receives light, reflects light from the sun. So when it says right here upon his right eye, so the sword, now the sword, our sword, right? The sword of Jah is the word of Jah, right? And it says his arm shall be clean, dried up. 
because Jah will show his mighty arm, his mighty hand, his hands are outstretched still. And it says, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. In other words, this is speaking of one's uh, spiritual, um, spiritual understanding, right? Their spiritual understanding of, of true um, spirituality, which is from above, not from below, pretending to be from above. Anyway, so I want to point that out right there. So the two key verses right here um, that often are not um, looked at by many who uh, look at the whole um, Illuminati, New World, so-called order, the the um, Babylon. This confusion, definitely a Tower of Babel. But what clears it up is Zechariah 5 and 6, the ayin or the eye which is uh, translated in the King James as resemblance, which is still, is still figures in the overstanding that this, their resemblance. You see this eye all over the place, this eye in the triangle, eye in the triangle, eye in the triangle, all the logos, eye in the triangle, eye in the triangle, eye in the triangle. So Zechariah five and six is accurate there. Um, when you have a, when you have a overstanding, when you study to show yourself approved to the true, um, power to Ha Elohim as a work man. That need not be ashamed, rightly dividing or explaining that word of truth. So in the right explanation of Zechariah 5 and 6, it says, this is their eye or resemblance through all the earth. And I think that's very clear from all their logos and logos, right? Logos, the logos in the beginning was the word. You see what I'm saying? Word, symbol, shape, thought, idea. Spirit, all that is connected there. But it says that his right eye, so his, his, um, the sword is upon his right eye. Verse 17 of, uh, Zechariah chapter 11. And it says, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. Now, if you, I don't have a close up right here, but, um, it seems to be the left eye, right? The left eye, Louis, the left eye, Lucifer, right? The left eye, is what is seen in that particular um, eye in the tri triangle, all right, uh, which is falsely called the eye of, of 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 Horus, and then they sometimes say it's the eye of Osiris, the father, and you know they get a little bit confused there. But the scripture clarifies it for us, for I and I. Hope this is helpful, brothers and sisters. Shalom, be Yeshua Shem. Shalom, Rastafari.